Now, certain plants have the capacity to cause cancer cells to commit suicide. It's very interesting. So you may have heard of uh, sulforaphane, which is a phytonutrient that's in broccoli sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, bok choy, and other cruciferous vegetables. And even John Hopkins University attempted to get the patents on broccoli sprouts because they did the studies on sulforaphane, finding that it's anti-cancer. So the question is, if these phytonutrients like sulforaphane have the ability to cause cancer cells to commit suicide, do they do the same thing with our cells? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you a specific section of the study that talks about this concept. So this is a quote taken from the study. I'm going to put it down below. Okay, sulforaphane selectively inhibited HDAC activity. Now, what is that? Well, HDAC activity is really just an enzyme that affects the DNA stability, causing the DNA to be very unstable in a cell. Okay? And induced, which means triggered, P21 expression. Now, what the heck does P21 expression mean? That means apoptosis. This, this is the term that describes a cell committing suicide. Okay, so sulforaphane inhibits this enzyme that normally keeps the DNA stable. So now this DNA becomes unstable and triggers the cell to commit suicide. Okay, in benign hyperplasia. What is that? Tumors. Okay, and cancer cells. While it only caused a transient, which is kind of a not a long-term thing, it's a short-term type thing, decrease in HDAC activity and did not affect the P21 expression in normal cells. And this is why they said selectively. Okay, so you're not going to have to worry about getting cancer from eating these plants because it's selective. It has the ability to differentiate and go after the cancer cells and leave your cells alone. And so the question is, why did a plant even come up with this chemical in the first place? Well, plants have enemies, bacteria, insects, that type of thing. So that's the defense mechanism. And so it's pretty safe for our bodies unless you have some gut damage where there's a leaky gut, for example. But if you don't have gut issues, um, I would highly recommend having some of these foods on a regular basis as they have a huge benefit of selectively causing the cancer cell to commit suicide. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.